All right, so I'm going to show you how to use hair cards on Quest, which is something that a lot of people have been doing lately. Um, they've been using these hair card, the hair card method for making hair, and it's really great, but it's not Quest compatible. So what I'm going to show you is just how I would personally make hair cards work on Quest. So here we have my hair that I made, and it's using hair cards, meaning it is just one plane. There's there's one top side and a bottom side. It's not like a solid mesh that wraps around. It is literally just a plane. Um, you can see here with face orientation that this is these are the normals. When you see things invisible in Unity, it's because the normals are either flipped the wrong way or you're just seeing the back of it. So he, here with like these normals, you can see that there is a front and there is a back. The front is blue, the back is red. So with Quest, you can only see the blue side because with PC avatars, you can turn off culling, which does increase the poly count in your GPU rendering of that model, which does make it more unoptimized, but not by much. So it's okay usually if you use it. But that you typically have to use it with hair cards, even though it is more optimized to use hair cards. Um, with Quest, you cannot do that. With Quest, you are forced to use the Quest shader, which does not support turning off back face culling which means you only end up seeing the blue part of the hair. Um, you can see if you go in Blender and you turn on back face culling here, half of my hair is gone, but I can see it from the back. But I cannot see it from the front. So if you have a model that the hair is invisible, what you can do is you can just box select everything red. So you see I selected everything, just dragging my mouse over it, pressing Control L to select everything linked. Um, you can do it for the stuff up here, but it's not really necessary because you won't be seeing it. There's a head there. Um, and what you're going to want to do is press Shift D, and you'll see it go darker because there's two sets of faces there. So just click, and then if you press Alt N, it will bring up your normals menu. You just press flip. So now it's purple because it's taking up, or it's like, there's two, basically two spaces, or two faces taking up the same space in your viewport. Which doesn't really make sense, um, but if I go here, turn off face orientation, and then turn on back face calling, you can see I can see both sides. And with the quest shader, you will not get any Z fighting, which is basically just two faces fighting over the right to occupy a certain space. That's why you get flashing on your meshes sometimes. Um, it's two faces fighting over that space. So you won't get any of that because back face calling doesn't let you. Uh, because you can only see one side of it at a time. You're either seeing the red or the blue side. Um, and in this case, there's like two red and two blue, but they're opposite. So it's going to reflect purple. And that's how you know you did it right. You can do that for the whole hair if you want. So I'm going to just merge this by distance. That didn't really work. There we go. So you can duplicate the whole hair if you want to. Flip that. And now you can see everything from both sides. But you can see I doubled my poly count. But that's okay. Uh, poly count doesn't really matter that much because it'll be the same material, same mesh, whatever. Um, and you want to typically do this after you've already rigged your mesh because if you try to rig both faces, you might get some weird stuff happening. And it might just not look good. So I would say only do this after you've rigged your thing. And you can do this with anything like a hoodie. Um, typically with like a hoodie, if I go to my other blender... <clears throat> I do have a hoodie here. And see if I had this hair, and I turn on back face pulling, my hoodie is like missing. So if I go, well, that's not gonna work. Yeah, let me just, if I bring this up by pressing C, I just take everything that I can see Everything that is invisible. Select everything that's invisible. Press Shift D and then Alt N. Now my hoodie is no longer invisible there. It's obviously invisible here still, but because I have hair, it doesn't really matter all that much. It's all the way down here. But that's what it would look like on Quest. So, 
Um, that's how you would use this kind of stuff on Quest. And it's not that difficult. So, did I hide this? Or did I delete it? <laughs> I don't remember. But, there's that. Um, I hope I helped somebody out there.